In this exercise, we will show how to extract fault planes from a fault likelihood volume. Click on the Fault and Fracture icon, 3D. The Faults and Fracture 3D Control Center window pops up. Select the Planes category. Select Extract Planes and go. If the fault likelihood cube is not created yet, you can generate it here in this window from the Create button. For the input cube, select for deep steered median filter and constrain the volume under volume sub selection to inline range between 100 and 400, cross line range 300 to 750 and time range 1400 to 1848 and OK. Provide the name for the output fault likelihood, FL for example. For large volume, we can execute batch processing in multi-machine. So we keep single processing and run. The processing finish, so we can close the Progress Viewer window and the Fault Likelihood Creation window. Then select the new created Fault Likelihood Cube FL OK and keep all the default parameters for the preconditioning of the recursive Gaussian filter and run. A set of fold skins is now displayed in the 3D scene along with the fold skin QC window that we can move to the side. Select an individual fold, switch first to the select mode using the accelerator scape, then click on the fold, it turns green. This fault is as well highlighted in green in the fault scale QC window. Different information about the faults are highlighted in the uh, stereogram display, like the deep and azimut. We can change the display type to Z values, skin ID, skin size, fault likelihood, for example. We can extract this fault plane as individual fault by clicking on Extract Selected. Select several skins that you think might need to be combined as one fault with the Shift left mouse button. Ensure the Merge option is on and extract the skin as one fault. Name it Fault 2 and OK. A new fault was added to the scene under Fault folder, Fault 2, and it has the dark color. We can select all faults in one go with Control A and extract all skin as a fault set by selecting Extract Selected. Type a name, Fault Set 1 and OK. So the fault set has been added to the scene under fault set. The fault skin parameters can be further optimized and once the fault plane are extracted we can combine with seismic and attributes for interpretation. This concludes this exercise where we show how to extract fault plane from a fault likelihood volume.